Welcome to a Digital Print Solutions video guide on how to create a cut file for vector images. Step 1. Setting up your file in Illustrator. First, what you want to do is open up Illustrator. Then, open up the file that your design lives in. From here, you'll be able to view your design. Very good. Step 2. Make sure you're using CMYK colors. For step 2, we'll make sure we're using the right color space. First, go to File and Document Color Mode and make sure CMYK is picked. Awesome. Step three, sizing your design for printing. If you need to resize your design for printing, what you'll need to do is select your whole design. Then go to transform and select width or height to keep the same dimensions and increase them depending on what your design should be. Very good. Step four. Creating a cut line for your design. For step four, we'll begin making the cut line. To do this, create a new layer and then label that layer as cut. Then select your whole design and press control C to copy it. And then make sure you have your cut layer selected and paste it either using control V or press edit and paste in place. And a bonus tip is to make sure your first layer is locked to make sure it won't be tampered with. Step five, using the Pathfinder tool. For step five, use the Pathfinder tool here to make your cut line layer a solid layer. Awesome. Step six, changing fill to stroke. For step six, first, select your cut layer and then go to the left side and reverse your fill and stroke properties. Then go to the color tab and change the color to either cyan or magenta. And make sure that the stroke width is one. Step seven, creating our bleed layer. For step seven, we'll be creating a bleed layer. Once again, create a new layer and label it as bleed. Then take the bleed layer and put it at the bottom of the composition. Then select the cut layer and press control C to copy and control V to paste or press edit and paste in place. Step eight. Extending the bleed layer. For step eight, we'll be extending the bleed layer. So select the bleed layer and then pick the eyedropper tool. Select the outermost color of your design and then flip the fill and stroke properties. Then go to your stroke and extend it far past the design. Step nine. Review and save. For step nine, we'll be reviewing the design, so make sure you give it a good look. Then we'll wanna save it. So go to file and then save as. Select the appropriate folder on your computer in an acceptable file format and then click save. Thank you for watching.